six one, 155 pounds. How can someone so small fly so high? And I think he's only about 5'11". I think six one is exaggerating. First, we'd like to introduce you to a couple of guys who aren't your everyday ball players. Don't forget Muggsy Spud. You gave Muggsy Bowes height as 1.61 when it's actually 1.600609 meters. Antonio Cooper, a five foot nine three point specialist. Regardless of how they do it, they are recognized as some of the finest in the game and all have interesting stories of how they got to where they are, including two of the game's top point guards who were told they were too small to ever make it big in the NBA. Tyus Edney and Avery Johnson. With all their doubters, both have shown their true measure is not found in their stature. You know, it's a situation where I've been overcoming things all my life because of my size. When I first came in the NBA, I couldn't make a layup. I think it just gave me a lot of motivation, you know, to come in and prove that, you know, I can play in this league. I believe in myself. Uh, uh, even when basketball was taken away, I, I, I still felt good about Avery Johnson. I have confidence in myself that whatever people say or whatever people say I can't do, I feel that I can't. So I had to work on finishing in the lane. I had to work on getting an 18 foot jump shot to be effective in the NBA. That didn't happen by osmosis or because I believe in Jesus. No, you got to get out there and practice. My expectations and my goals are set, set high. And, um, it's kind of like what I expect to do. As you practice more, you get more confidence. Life is about confidence. Ball got through there. I mean, what a pass by Glazen. Boykins is going to hold his head after he gets hit right here, but Denver, Denver running this, this half. They had... Alan, a lot of people affectionately refer to you as the little guy, but could you come up any bigger for your team than you did this season? I hope I can. I always play with my heart. You know, I play with my heart first, you know, because I feel like that's all I got. I think pound for pound is just is the best player in the, in the league. I mean, pound for pound, the best player in the league. And a guy his size, and, um, and the thing about it, um, the contact that he endures throughout the course of the season, and, and he just continues to get back up and um, do it at a very high level on, on, on every night, you know. And that's kind of difficult when you're playing against guys that outweigh you by 50 and 100 pounds.